<laughs> I'll put that in the middle of it. <laughs> Hello, my name is Mike Young. My wife, Michelle, our daughter, Kelsey, and our son, Brendan, uh, have attended Faith Community Church since the fall of 1998. Since then, Michelle and I have made it a priority to tithe in all that we earn or receive. We've also made the commitment to give to missions and to the building fund that is here at the church. And we've also had a goal of being debt free with the exception of our house. And we have been able to achieve that in the last couple of years. Uh, in December of 2008, uh, we made the commitment to increase our giving and missions and also in that same month we had to find a new vehicle uh, the one that we were currently using quit so we were looking for an SUV that had low miles and only a couple of years old uh, God provided us a vehicle that uh, met those requirements and we were able to pay for the vehicle in full in order to keep our uh, debt-free status going and we realized that that's a really awesome thing whenever four weeks later in January I lost my job due to the economic downturn of the tool and die industry. Um, after being laid off uh, Michelle and I found it necessary that we would probably we needed to tighten up on some of our finances and look at things uh, satellite TV uh, the uh, expensive cell phones, uh, eating out, and we've even considered cutting back on uh, our emissions giving. Uh, but we both come to the conclusion that that was not what we were supposed to do. So we did continue to live up to our commitment to uh, give the increased amount of emissions. And uh, in February of 2009, Michelle took a new position at her work and her company had a salary freeze so there was not any more money with that at the time and in April of 2009 I did get a new job I was uh, this company hired me based on the promise that they were getting a, a bunch of work from a specific company but after I was hired there that uh, did not come to be so after being there only three months I was laid off again the second time in six months but two weeks prior to being laid off Michelle's company still had their salary freeze but she did get a 23 percent raise and over the next five months God continued to keep uh, his hand over us and to provide for us and after sending out countless number of resumes a company and called me in the beginning of December wanted to set up an interview I uh, went there, had an interview, and probably about three hours after I left, they offered me a job. I accepted and have been working there for the last two months. Uh, the second paycheck that I got from them, I noticed that they paid me too much money in overtime, so I let the owner of the company know that uh, he paid me too much, and he basically just said it was his mistake, so Merry Christmas. Needless, needless to say, Michelle and I were happy about that, and we decided to have some fun with that, and we presented the uh, scenario to our children at the dinner table that evening about being overpaid and what should we do. Well, Kelsey, our 13-year-old daughter, came to the conclusion that I should tell the owners and give the money back. Our nine-year-old son, Brendan, decided that I should keep the money, but I should tithe on it. Uh, we laughed about that a little bit, and, but we're able to use that as a teachable moment to uh, explain the, why, this, this, why we made the decisions that we made regarding letting the owner know and uh, how we were, we were rewarded for that. Um, so that is how we have seen God uh, move in our lives over the past year, and we're just uh, thankful to be able to share that. Uh, testimony with you guys. So thanks for your time.